Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm going to do a basic how to make your own sprays at home. I call it mixed media sprays, um, but they're spray inks, spray inks, quote unquote. So let me get started. First, you're going to need empty bottles. Now I saved spray bottles from everything, even old uh, art products that I've bought and used uh, or went bad. I cleaned them out and uh, I keep them. But for this, I'm going to use uh, just, these are from uh, Spray Splatter. I don't exactly know exactly what it's from, what company. I got them at the store. And then I have um, a squeezy, which I'm going to talk about. And then I have a little mini mister. But use whatever you have. If you go to the dollar store and buy like little body sprays for a dollar, you can just take it home, empty it out, uh, and, um, wash it out real good and use those. If you don't want to spend $2 on a bottle, go to your travel section. They're everywhere. So let me get started. So, uh, one of my favorite things that I use a lot are, uh, the Liquitex inks. Now I have Liquitex inks. I have, um, uh, what are they called? Uh, India ink inks. I have all kinds of inks. I'm going to use this. This is yellow orange. Um, and what I'm going to show you is, now this is liquid already, so let me show you. You can get these, seriously, go to your craft stores, your arts and craft stores, and go into the clearance section. I can't tell you that enough because they will have discontinued colors of some very uh, good art products. And this color, I guess, was getting uh, discontinued. I picked it up the other day because I have tons of them and I never can have enough. So... Yellow orange apparently wasn't uh, doing real good. <laughs> so take a empty bottle and we'll use the, uh, we'll use the mini mister. And these are great. And I save these when they're empty because you get these little, uh, droppers, you know? So you just lay this in, just put a few drops in. Now the mini mister takes hardly anything to fill it up, but I'm going to do that. And you know when this dries, it's going to be permanent, which is awesome because a lot of these sprays that you buy are uh, water soluble and they're water, you know, they're, they don't dry to, uh, uh, how do you say they, they, they're watercolor. I can't use, I just lost all train of thought. Dang fry bro. Um, so they're not permanent is what I want to say. <laughs> so let me show you. I swear. Okay. So I have my little bottle and this is that spray and I'm going to spray it for a minute to get that water out. But look, now we have this beautiful spray. Um, and you can use it in any kind of bottle that you have. This is a mini mister I have sitting here, but this is going to dry and be permanent. So now you have your great, you know, your own great sprays. Now let's take just a water bottle with just a little bit of water in it. Probably, maybe an inch of water, a little less, three quarters. And what I do is I put my water in there, just regular water, and I'm gonna use a decoupage. Now I'm using collage podge, but you can use Mod Podge. My favorite is decoupage, but I'm gonna use this here and just put a couple drops in. And you can use your white school glue too. Don't forget, white school glue is just as, as good. So, um, I put that in there and now I want to add some shimmer. What color do I want to do? Well, I think I'm going to do a red acrylic paint in here. So any acrylic paint you have, drop a couple drops in there. Okay. Two or three. Cause you can adjust it once uh, we're done here. So I got that in there. So now what color do I want to put? What about if I put some Pearl X dual, a uh, duo red blue? Okay, so this is going to be, um, make it iridescently, you know, iridescent, shiny, that kind of thing. So I'm just going to kind of put my brush in there with it. Clean that off. And you can put as much or as little in as you want. Put your lid on and give it a shake. Shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it, shake it. And look at that delicious color. Now, I know it's going to spray out water at first. I should have cleaned that out first, but watch. Now you have a beautiful, now that's a light red. That's like a pink almost. 
If you want it a little darker, let's add a little bit more red. I'll add two more plops. So it really doesn't matter. It depends on how dark or how light you want it. So I'm going to shake that up. And you can see it gets a little darker. So that will become, uh, because of the glue, it'll become practically permanent so it won't reactivate. So that's those colors. Now, you can use any kind of, you can use very fine glitter in your mixture with this. Use Instead of the Pearlex, use uh, mica powder. Use very, very fine glitter. It all works as long as it goes up, to, up through the clog. Uh, nozzle. Um, so those are two things that you can use with the acrylic paint. Now, something fun that you can do is make your own alcohol ink. And I'm going to use this little squeezy bottle. Again, you can buy these uh, at the store, in the travel section, or at the dollar store. Uh, you can use medicines. You can use it even with uh, a dropper. If you have uh, these kind of bottles or a dropper, like of an old uh, oil or something, and you have that, save that. But I'm going to do a little bit of alcohol ink. So I'm going to pour just a little bit of alcohol in there. As much as you want. It's all up to what you want. Now let's do... Let's do some of this yellow orange in here. Now you can use, or you know what I'll use? No, because not many people will probably have that. How about we use, uh, let me see. Let me just grab a color. How about a dark purple? And you're just going to add a couple drops in. Three, four drops I added. Until we see the color. And it's straight alcohol in there. I don't add any water. And mix it up. Look at that. And now, this is just a fine, fine, um, what do you call it? Water bottle. And now you can have your own alcohol ink, whatever colors that you want. Now what's fun is I'm just going to take a little bit of water and drip it. Now remember I'm on paper here, so it's going to sink in. You want it to be just as if you're using alcohol uh, ink, if, if you want that look. Do you know what I'm saying? But you have this. And let me show you on a piece of metal. How it will dry. So I'm going to do it here. I'm going to give it a second to dry. I'm going to set this aside for a second, just so it can dry while I finish this up. Now, here's the fun. You, you can make your own alcohol ink. You can make your own sprays. They become permanent. I love drippage and everything else, so you can definitely, you know, drip and, and do all that. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money. Um, you can use glitter. You can use uh, whatever you want. You can use your acrylic paints that you buy. You can use... A food coloring. Food coloring is a great one. If you use food coloring, which we all have it in our pantries, you can do the same thing with food coloring and um, still add your decoupage or whatever glue that you want to use to make it seal. And um, you'll have fantastic colors there. You can mix them. You can do them whatever way you want. Now I'm going to just draw this for a second. So when you're starting out, or if you just don't have the money to go buy things that you really uh, see everybody using and, and it makes you feel bad because you can't afford it, I've been there so many times, this is a great thing to do. Because you can really customize it to what you like. I'm going to concentrate right here to dry this so I can show you. Dry, dry. 
And something else fun, if you sit and play on paper, whether you adjust it or not, you can um, use this as a background on a canvas. Put all these beautiful colors on here and then rip it up and put it on the back of your mixed media canvas that you want to do. You know, so you're basically doing it, making your background on here, which is a lot of fun. All right, so now I'm going to take a little bit of water. And it doesn't run. It's completely on there. Now it could be a little drier, but you could see, you can hear it. And now this is wet here, so that's going to run. It's all right. Once it's completely dry, though, you'll never know. So it is so much fun and so inexpensive. And if you're playing, if you're teaching your kids art, and you, you know, you don't want to have to, you want to see if it if it resonates with them, if it's something they want to do. So you can make your own supplies at home. Let them have a blast and play. I remember when my kids were little and they would um, want to play with all my supplies. And if I had, you know, like a bunch of these or, uh, uh, you know, alcohol inks, whatever I had that I really didn't want them to uh, ruin, sad to say, but I wanted them to play, I would make their own stuff. And, um they could play away and I wouldn't have like, you know, a heart attack watching them play or squirt too much out or anything like that. So, um, it's definitely good and it's definitely good just to sit and play. All right. So now you can see how it went on here and it's still a little wet. Probably should dry it. So anything that's non-porous, like glass, plastic, you know, anything like that, this will work on fantastic. I was going to let that cool down. Yep. And there you go. It's just like alcohol ink. That's, ink. that's what it feels like. That little tacky, but not really because it just needs to dry all the way. But it's wonderful. Absolutely wonderful. So definitely you can you know, use it and make your own and oh, so much fun. So much fun. I hope this helps you guys a little bit. Let me, let me questions if you have any or write me, uh, email me because I will be glad to answer them. I didn't want to make this too, too long of me sitting and playing, but, uh, I wanted to show you the general idea of what you can do. Again, food coloring, you can get from the dollar store. Um, you can get acrylic paints at the dollar store. You can get your alcohol at the dollar store. You can get your you know, your little spray bottles and tubes at the dollar store. So look at things differently. Go look at children's uh, medicine, uh, drop medicine at the dollar store, get it to bring it home, rinse it out. And then you have a great dropper with a little bottle that you can use. I mean, really just, you can do so much stuff from home and really have a blast and have fun doing it. So I hope this helped you guys a little bit. Uh, if you guys do this, let me know. Leave me a, uh, tag me on Facebook, Instagram, wherever. I am everywhere. And um, let me know if you have any questions. I love doing these little things to show you guys. I'm also going to link in the video, probably around here, uh, where um, uh, the other video I did, I have several, several videos of me doing this, that it might be more uh, in depth if it's longer. Um, something else you can also do is take your gelatos or take your uh, ink tents and you can scrape it off a little bit and put it in water and you know shake it up so it melts and you can use those too and those become permanent. The gelatos, however, will be more watercolor and they will not be permanent unless you add the glue. Um, I hope that makes sense. I love you guys so much. Be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting and I love you guys so very much and I will see you guys later.